hello everyone welcome to my channel and today you guys i got my shein packages i got my tamu.com packages some of them okay i don't have everything but i got a few more packages today i decided to put on some makeup so i went ahead and done my face makeup so i decided just to do an eye makeup look i'm gonna use this miss rose palette I've been looking at it and I've been just like, let me go ahead and try this palette since I've been using, um, let me see, this palette here that I got from Timu, Team U, um, with the art on it. I've been using that, that blush color. Oh my gosh. And then yesterday, eye makeup look, I used the eyeshadows from this palette. So since I've already used this palette, and I will use this palette in a makeup look over here on my channel, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Why not? Um, I haven't tried Miss Rose uh, palettes in years. Um, I was at my favorite apartment at the time okay at the time okay back in the day when i first started doing youtube i used to buy a good bit of these products i think i had two palettes from miss rose um it is a cosmetic um brand and usually you can find these in any kind of inexpensive type of um uh, i say makeup site or either um anywhere online usually you can put in miss rose cosmetics you'll find it but i actually was on amazon and i was just looking at eyeshadows and i saw this and it reminded me of back in the day when i used to create those makeup looks and i had bought two palettes the thing is at the time miss rose cosmetics had like a very strong perfume scent um from this palette They've changed that. I could not use those palettes too much because of the perfume. It would make my head hurt. So now I don't smell anything. And at the time, the palettes was very pigmented. So if you like this brand as well, or if you uh, use this brand or heard of this brand, I think it's worth trying. I like the fact that it has this like, christmas new year's type of theme here thought it was really pretty i like the cover as well it's sort of like new year's type of theme type of look or whatnot and i just think it's like a celebration as you can tell it seems like a celebration type of look um but anyways let's get into the shadows i really like these orange red tones the most and then i love this beautiful shimmer shade i'm thinking about using this maybe with these two red tones since i got this red top on and i got some shorts uh because it's quite warm today i don't know what it is i guess maybe it might rain in a little while but it's sort of warm light but we'll see how the looks gonna turn out i decided just to create an eye makeup look so the video won't be too long because i think i'm gonna show i might show one of these to move i'm not sure i think i might wait on the other to move stuff that's coming because i don't know y'all i might have like four three or four more packages um so for sure y'all will have a tamu.com haul i don't know i may go ahead and haul that here and then just haul my shein um products over there on my chili shimay channel but anyways y'all let's get into this palette like look how pigmented that is so beautiful the colors are just amazing so i want to try this one even though i have my epaulets um makeup on as far as my face makeup um loving it i love that that's my favorite brand and we're going to get into those palettes that i got by that brand but i just thought i want to use this palette today why not let's use miss rose um it's called miss rose what is it eyeshadow palette she has the mask on it just seems like she's having a celebration she has a cup of wine there looks like or champagne or something she seems like a celebration type of 
palette. Let's go ahead and try it. All right, so I think today will be a perfect day to try. All right, so I'm going to go in with this. I think this... I think I'm going to go in with this orange shade. There's several shades. Just know, I'll tell you all the shades as I use them because I haven't used this palette and I thought, why not? Okay. Why not show this palette? So I'm going to start with the orange shade right here in my socket, the socket of my eye. Y'all know I like this look. Um, still arching my brow very high, y'all, because eventually you're going to see why which I've already told y'all, I am going to try to do some Botox to lift my brow. I don't know if it's going to get it this high, but I think it'll get it high enough. And if I have to continue to arch my brows a little high, like the way that they are right now, that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. So, yeah. Um so far the formula is very easy to blend i have to say you know i'm barely putting any product on because i've learned to do that some of these palettes that's inexpensive y'all know i've told y'all some of them are very pigmented and you don't need to go in with a lot of product because sometimes it'll shock you how pigmented these products are that is very inexpensive. I believe this palette was $6.99, I believe, or $7.99. It wasn't $7.99. I think it was $5.99 or $6.99. I'm not sure. Something like that. It might have been $4.99 with the discount, y'all, because I got it over the sales, Black Friday sales and stuff. So I got an extra, I think, 5 to 25% off of my total order. Um, so yeah, just saying, I don't know what the price might be right now. If you were to go on there and, um, find this palette, if you like the colors and all of that, cause y'all know, I'm going to show y'all the look away from the window. My lighting right now is the window. However, I do have that vlogging light, but I want to use that only when I do videos in the, during the evening time. I don't want to use you know, I don't want to use my light unless I have to. I like the natural lighting. That's my favorite. Always have been my favorite. So, I try to stick with natural lighting more than the artificial lighting. That's just what I like. I'm going to pull this up just a little bit higher on my brow bone. Because on the other side, I feel like I came up a little higher. So, how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is having a wonderful Saturday. It's such a beautiful day, even though it's cloud. Well, it was sunshiny. Now it's like cloudy. Um, I think it's going to rain again. I know it's been raining for the last few days, but it's been really nice days, to be quite honest. It's just been really, really good as far as the temperature has been just right. It's not too cold. Um, I'm highlighting my brow bone. It's, it hasn't been too cold. It's just been just right. I got on shorts and a top. Um, yeah. I might change the bottom, though, into a skirt. I don't know. I think I will do that. Then again, I might just keep on the shorts. I don't know. We'll see. So I highlighted my brow bone. Now I'm going to go in with the color that I was thinking about from the beginning, which is this pink tone, red looking color. We go right into basically almost right on top of that shade that I just began with. This is just like my top shade before I really put in the bold shade right into my crease because I'm close to it right now. So I just need a little bit of that shade and this is very pigmented. It's such a beautiful coral. It's like a coral pink. It's so nice. This color would be very nice for the fall, what, not the fall, but the spring and the summertime weather. It's just gorgeous. The color is very pretty and I like it. it almost matches my nails. 
so yeah so nice so I'm just adding this color on and then I'm gonna go in with the red yes we're gonna this is gonna be like a bold makeup look just letting you know right now because you probably already done figured it out when I said I'm gonna go for this red tone that's what I'm dipping into right now so we're gonna get this right into the crease okay right into the crease might have to go over it just a little bit just to deepen it up a little bit but the colors are going on very pigmented very nice and just absolutely gorgeous i like how the colors are blending in very nicely and yes this may not be a look for everybody i would say that because my looks have always been kind of you know like very dramatic looks a lot of people like it though um i don't hear too many people say that they don't like my eye makeup because i just do what i like and i think a lot of people appreciates that um i highly recommend anybody that creates makeup looks and things like that you go with what you like i'm just up here creating a video and i have a channel here and i'm just doing whatever i feel like what i want so y'all do whatever you like but i do like to show y'all these inexpensive palettes in case some of you are on a budget just like me if you're on a budget, then you need to try out some of these products like this. I mean, come on. Don't let them think that only, you know, the most expensive palettes is the best palettes. Some of these inexpensive palettes will absolutely shock you if you ever try them. And give them a chance. You will be absolutely stunned at the quality um, that these palettes have they can absolutely just completely completely change everything that you think about concerning you know inexpensive palettes you'd be shocked about it so just really deepening up my crease getting that color in there very very well just putting it in there and really building up the color as they say just building the color up getting that hyper i don't want to say hyper but that just getting that color in there so you can see that the main focus is this shade right here the red i really been wanting a red shade on for days and i just been using my palette that doesn't have a red tone to it and i said you know what i think i'm gonna use this palette today because let me tell you something y'all <laughs> i got pictures of it i'm gonna place the picture on this video yes i am i'm probably gonna try to do that yes i'm gonna do that somebody had put something in my um right here in front of the window and it was a cup with all kind of like fake diamonds you know and so this inspired me to use this palette because whoever whoever did this of course it was just really stupidity and stupid and it doesn't phase me but i'm gonna put it on this this video so y'all can see where my inspiration came from it actually came you know i y'all know that that can happen like actually sometimes people can inspire you to create looks that you wasn't even thinking about doing because i wasn't even thinking about creating an eye makeup look until i got to put on my makeup and i realized you know what i think i want to create an eye makeup look just because i felt very inspired by this thing that was in my parking space well not my parking space but a parking space right in front of me um the whole neighborhood in on it you know just you know and i ain't gonna say the whole neighborhood but a good bit of people right here so i'm gonna this is for all of y'all I just spit then. That that's for all of y'all. That's way I feel. This just spit on it and be inspired. Okay. 
that's what I would tell everybody. Just, just be inspired by stuff like that. So now, what I'm going to do next is, I think I'm going to use, now this is where the colors get a little bit more lighter, more natural looking. So I feel like maybe I should bring in my black eyeshadow pencil. I love this thing. This is the, what is it, E-N- gbo shadow stick and smudger this is awesome for the outer corner uh color like when we want to deepen it up you can blend it into the eyeshadow you could actually use it on your um lash line i wouldn't put it on the waterline i haven't really tried that yet but i know it's awesome as an eyeshadow um as an eyeshadow so i do have a smudger here but I don't use it. I don't never use my smudger. I try not to use it unless I'm traveling or something. And then if I don't have something that might be the time I would use my smudger, I just like to use a brush. So I'm going to go in right now with this, this shadow stick here just to deepen up the color right here on the sides of my eyes. Just right here. Just to... Blend it into the red and all of that. And then blend it out. That's the most amazing thing is that it's a smudger color. So it smudges on. You can blend it into other eyeshadows. It's just absolutely fabulous. I love the fact that this blends out so good. And it looks really good on top of eyeshadow. And I've been using it nonstop. You can use it little by little so you don't get it too intense. Or you could just put it on and intensify it as deep as you want. It's one of the best, best, I think, eyeshadow pencils that I got in the shade black. I have a good bit of them, but this one is really, really nice. I really, really like it. I can really blend it out really good because some of those eyeshadow pens you can't blend out as good as you would want to. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You just really can't do it. And this one, I can. So I'm going to smudge it out in the center here too. I'm creating, like I said, one of those dramatic, bold, intense sort of like a celebration type of look something a little bold a little strong maybe club wear type of look you know something very intense because what i saw today was like sort of sparkly intense so this is kind of what i think about it you know it just looked like something very wild and you know, something wild, not saying there's nothing wrong with something wild, but it was just kind of wild and creepy in a sense. But then sometimes some of the best makeup looks is very cute, like really creepy and different, right? Because a lot of y'all have told me some of my looks can be very intense and different and a little not y'all don't say creepy but just very different and very intense so that 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 i've seen i'm gonna take a picture of it and some of y'all gonna say oh that's just a regular cup it's just a regular uh coffee co it looks like a coffee mug what it looks like so i just got inspired i said you know what i'm gonna use this miss rose palette and i think it'll go together with that cup because she has a cup sipping some wine on this palette so i was like you know what that's a perfect match it's just so so perfect so this is what i'm gonna go for and i don't know if i am really really messing up this look i don't know but i think i can put it together blend it out very nice and make something out of it because i'm about to put one of these beautiful shimmer shades right down the center of this so 
But the thing about it, y'all, when I went out there, I went ahead and took a picture of it just because it's a lot of suspicious activity going on and a lot I already know about and I'm not going to get into it because you can't talk too much around here. Um, and plus, I'm, I'm online. Like, people that despise me watch my channel. So, let me tell you something. I went out there with my cross, okay? I was like, oh, no, you don't. In the name of God and Jesus, you know, no, you don't. No, you don't. Because y'all know what diamonds are, what a lot of people always say about diamonds, right? So, um, you know, sometimes people do stuff that take something that's so good and try to make it look evil, you know, just do something. And just to have you to talk about it, like right now, when they look at this video, they'll be like, <laughs> but I'm going to say this right here is that stuff like that inspires me. It just pumps me up and really inspires me and get me, you know, going. It gets me to do something, maybe something I haven't done in a while or whatnot, and I needed to do something, you know. So now, y'all, I'm going to put this beautiful shimmer in the center. I think it's really, really pretty. It has little flexes of purple in it, but when I touch it, it looks more copper. I was thinking it was going to be like purple, pink, yellow. That's the way it looks in the pan. This is a beautiful everyday eye makeup or eyeshadow color. But it's not what I was looking for. I'm surprised. This one is so pretty for every day. That is just a gorgeous color. Let me check some more of these shimmers, y'all. That one's really highlighted. But you know what? I kind of like it. I think it'll kind of like give me what I want. Some intensity. Uh, that color is also just as pretty. It's like a pink tone. Oh, my God. I don't know which one between the two. This one will make it really bold, and this one will make it sort of soft. I think, y'all, I think I'm going to go with this pink tone, and we'll go from there. It has a little shimmer in the center. So this is what it looks like, if y'all can see that. This is what it looks like, if you can see it. So I'm going to put this right there. Ooh, 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 look at that. Ooh, y'all, that's why I tell you, you cannot look at price with makeup. Oh my God. I love that. It's exactly what I wanted. Just that, that really, what is it? Metallic. I think it's metallic, y'all. I think that's what you call this. Just that little shine there in the center. That's what I wanted. I think I'm going to bring it on forward into the inner eye and then leave this side with the black shadow, the smudger, eyeshadow smudger shade, and just bring this on into the inside. Now, remember, I did use that smudger, you can say, as a base because I wasn't going, I wasn't going to use that, okay, as a base, but it end up being a base, okay? So never be um, too afraid to use an eyeshadow smudger or something like that as an eyeshadow base because it can really, really amp up these looks that we may be trying to achieve or we want to achieve or whatnot. The finger works the best. The finger is the best tool for this shadow, though, because it's just... Oh, look at that, y'all. I got these nails on, so I really can't get into the inner portion of my eye here. It's just so pretty, y'all. This palette is so pretty. If y'all do not believe me about me buying this product, go through my Sheila Shemay channel. You will see that I had a palette two palettes by this brand i created a makeup look with those palettes and i liked them but that brand at the time was just oh 
It gave me a headache, and I told y'all when I hauled this palette, I didn't know if I was going to like it because I've used this palette back in the day, and I really don't know how I'm going to, you know, is it going to affect me, or is it going to be all right, you know, I just really didn't know. But the looks of everything, it looks amazing. Now, what I'm going to do is I like the fact that it has this little different tone of color. If you see, it has some gold there. It has some pink. It has some copper tone. So this color has multitude of colors in one. And I like it. I got ready to put another color on top of it. But I think this color right here is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to stick with it. All right, so I think over the smudge shade, instead of going back in with the smudger, I think I'm going to use the black shade from this palette. Why not? And see how intense. Oh, okay. Okay. That is intense and absolutely gorgeous. Like, can I ask for anything more? Like. This palette was so inexpensive, y'all, and I'm already impressed. It's just very impressive type of palette. It really is. It's, it's very impressive. And you know what? It didn't cost a lot, and I love that. Y'all know how I am. I love inexpensive makeup. I love to show y'all how well inexpensive makeup can work and that don't always believe that you know you got to have these high price palettes there's nothing wrong with ordering something high price every once in a while i like to treat myself okay every once in a while i don't do it all the time but every once in a while i'm just like you know what girl get you something that may be something you've been wanting to get but you just haven't got because you just normally don't get stuff that's you know very expensive or whatnot and then sometimes when i go shopping um with the fashion and all that i go a little bit more than my budget sometimes just because i feel like i i deserve it like y'all we're all worth it okay and so yeah like sometimes it's okay go ahead and get something nice and get you something beautiful and you know and enjoy it like for real so i really did put that color really strong in the corner but this is the look i was going for i told y'all it was going to be a bold makeup look i told you that from the beginning um however i am not done yet i have put on my concealer and powder, but I'm gonna have to straighten out this on the corner side here. So I'm about to do put a color on my lash line on the bottom because it's time for mascara and all that. And what I want to do is I want to put that red tone. I think it's the pink tone. I'm gonna mix the pink tone. I think it's pink. Let me put this pink tone back up here on my brow bone i want to make it a little bit more intense because i got it very soft and that's okay i mean it's okay it still looks good that way um but i want to make it just a little bit more intense and then i think i had the peachy tone on there now i'm going to go in with the peachy tone back on top of it and kind of smooth out the lines there up on my brow bone just like that and then I'm gonna take this red tone okay just like that just, just kind of smudge it out but get it intense and then now I'm gonna take the red shade and I'm gonna put it right here right above slightly above my crease and i already have it in my crease i'm just intensifying it a little bit and yes this this is not for everybody but you know what i like what i like and makeup looks like this i've been creating ever since i started doing youtube it's just what i like and i'm not the perfect blender 
And you know what? I'm not into the makeup uh community. I'm just not there. I'm into the fashion. I've I've been through so much. That's why I haven't been as frequent as I should be over there. But let me tell you, I got clothes to show, and I'm gonna show those clothes. It's just that I just been through a lot. This girl has been through so much. And so, you know, I'm just kind of like getting myself together. And also, I just got some things to take care of, as y'all already know. Keep saying that because I want to remind y'all when I say I'm doing something, I'm in a community, but yet you say, where is your, your makeup looks? Where I mean, your fashion looks, where are they at? Well, you know, this girl has been through so much, but... I'm on the healing journey, okay? I really am. So, yeah. So, I like what's going on here. And like I said, this is not for everybody. Not everybody's going to like this look. I'm going to add this shimmer here on my brow bone. Give it a little shine there. Oh, that's so pretty. This is just a regular. This is not like a highlighting it's highlighting, but it's not like, y'all, my fingers are not working here. Um, it's highlighting, but it's not like the other two shades that I just put on. So, just adding those on there. And once again, this look is not for everybody. Or better yet, it's a look for a party look or something like that. And maybe some of y'all might say that's still too much for a party look. Well, it's not for me. <laughs> As most of you have said, you know, it just depends on a person and what you like, you know. But I'm going to put some of this color into my inner corner. It's a perfect in a corner highlight as well it's matching the eye makeup look i really do like this it's very intense i'm not gonna sit here and just say no this isn't no it is intense makeup look but like i said i got inspired so i wasn't going for this i wasn't thinking about this but i thought you know what i'm gonna go ahead and use this palette I feel like this palette with the cup on it, it was perfect. I think the the whole thing out there and this palette is perfect together. You know, it's like, yeah, this is like a palette I thought maybe I will wait for New Year's to use or whatnot. Then look, I mean, I'm, I'm using it now. So, yeah, thank you for whoever put that out there. That really inspired me. So now I'm going to take two shades. I'm going to use the red tone shade underneath my lash line. And I'm going to take the black shade as well. I'm going to try to put this out a little further out. Because when I go in with the black shadow, I want the red and the black showing underneath my lash line. And I feel like all of my, like my face makeup and everything is not so bold for this look. So I feel like this palette is more going to be a palette for bold looks. Just like the mug that was out there, which was very bold. I went out there to get my stuff out of the mailbox, and there it was. And I was like, what the hell? But then I was just like, I just looked at it and went on in the house. I didn't pay no attention. Um, all right, oh, well. But it inspired me to use this palette. It really did. It inspired me a lot to use this palette. So... I'm just coating my lashes with the black shadow. I could have used my smudger shadow pencil. But I think this is good enough. Like, I ain't got to really have that. Even though it's really, it's not real bold, depending on how much I put on. But I'm going to put my Urban Decay 24-7 liner on my waterline. 
Let me use it. I used that years ago. Check out my Sheila Shemay channel. I got the same shade that I got nailed, which is in black. Check it out. It goes all the way back to 2014 or 2013. I think it was 2014 when I got a few things. I got a big palette from Urban Decay, and with it came the pencil. It came together. So, so I got a gift. And that's when everybody was getting all the shades, and they are good. I want to get more. I want to try to get every shade that they got, and I know it's a lot of shades because you can use this as um, eyeshadow. A lot of people do. Some people put this on as a shadow and make a quick makeup look, create a quick, fast makeup look, or use this pencil as a primer for an eyeshadow. Very, very nice. It stays in the waterline, okay? And it just stays put. It doesn't get messy throughout the day. That's why they uh, classify this one, this pencil, as one of the best eyeshadow pencils you can get. Um, I'm going to repurchase um, this pencil because I think I got this pencil for $4 on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. One of the sites, I got it off of one of the sites. I think it was Amazon. It might not have been Amazon, but I got it off of one of the sites, and I think I got it for $4 with the discount of 15% off of the price plus the five percent extra 5% coupon. So I got it for hardly nothing. And I said, you know what? I remember using this, and I said, you know what? I want to use this palette again because it has been a long time since I tried that. So now I'm going to line my top lash line. I think I want to wing with this as well. I think I do. I think I want to put a wing on this. Um, I don't know. I want like a really bold wing, but I don't want it to go... Y'all remember when I used to put the wing like the line straight and then come down? I think that's what I'm going to do um with this look you know that wing that some people do that looks different it's like instead of going out and on the side and bringing it on in on the side you just go straight up with it Y'all remember that. I, I'm pretty sure some of y'all have seen that. I know you have. I've seen many of videos where women do that. My eyes really is not because I've got a lot of got hooded eyes plus some like sagging skin because you know what? <laughs> After that eye injury, I know some of y'all probably say, girl, you is 47 years old. Listen, I did not have all this loose skin until after that eye injury. So, um, I don't know if this is going to look good on me, but I haven't did this in a long time, but I'm going to do it today. I'm just going to go straight up with the wing and then come down like this because the look is just so, so bold. Why not just put a really bold liner like that on and I, I like that i've always liked it and it still looks pretty good i thought it wasn't going to look too good now last time i did liner like this was before my eye injury um so i am really really surprised how well that looks so i wasn't expecting it to look that good All right, so the liner is just a little thick there. There we go. So I'm going to make this just a little bit thicker here as well. Kind of get it even on both sides. There we go. 
All right, I'm going to stop right there because I know the more I go, y'all know how it is with liner. The more you go, the more you mess up everything. So now I'm going to put on mascara. I think this look will be really good with some falsies or whatnot, but I'm not going to put on no falsies. But here we go. We're going to use the Sky High P-U-D-A-I-E-R mascara. Uh, this is, I've got the new one. I just got it today. The one that's supposed to give the length. Y'all, I, I hope it works on me. It should because going by the pictures, it should work. I don't care how short your lashes is. It should work. And it came in today. And I just got mascara right on my face. And I'm just like, no. Get, get off of there. I could have waited till it got dry, but I can't wait there. I just had to remove that right now. Okay, so I went down, coated my lashes on the top, right on top of my lashes, and then now I'm pushing them up. And I only put a little bit of this because this is just basically the volumizing one. The other one that I got today... Uh, that's in one of my packages is the one for the length and I cannot wait to try it I was going to get it out of the package so I could just actually use it today but then I knew I had this really bold look and when I do demos with mascara I really don't like to put on mess uh what is it eyeshadow um yeah I don't like to put on mascara I mean eyeshadow because i want you to really see the mascara i've always done it that way and from what i can remember i always done my mascara like first impression videos reviews i didn't put on eyeshadow until i got done with the review or the first impression type of video because a lot of times the eyeshadow can hide the true view because if you look at my lashes right now go back to the demo where i showed y'all these this mascara you'll see you don't see how thick my lashes look because the eyeshadow is actually covering up a good bit of that uh of my lashes just because i do have the extra skin on my lid and all of that but you can you can tell i have on mascara though right yeah I put on a little bit on the bottom. Don't need a lot. I like this mascara just because I can do that now and not create a mess. The other mascaras I use, I mean, mascara be all over the place. This one, oh, it's perfect. If you're like me and really don't know how to put on mascara on the bottom lashes, I really don't know how to do that. But... I do my best, and a lot of times it looks good. Sometimes it looks good, and sometimes it doesn't, but it's me, y'all. That's all I can say. It's me. That's how I put on makeup, but all right, y'all. So, I makeup done, okay, and I am pleased with how everything looks. It is very bold. I'm telling you right now, this is not for everybody. I'm going to try to do a more softer look maybe in my next video or something like that. For some of y'all that like this color right here is just perfect for every day. Like, y'all, this is so pretty for every day. This beautiful peachy, like, coral color that I'm putting on top of the red shade here. It is so pretty. I can see myself wearing this every single day. Um... Yeah, it's a every single day type of um, shadow. And I'm just adding more on because I just think it looks really good on my tan skin tone. And it's really blending out that red a little bit, softening up that red. And uh, the colors are very smooth. I wouldn't say like smooth as in... You know, you put it on and just it just, you know, blends. It's not that smooth, but it's very, the the shadows in this palette is very easy to blend. So, um, I would say that this brand has improved a lot compared to back in the day when I had bought two of their palettes. Because I stopped buying them because, like I said, they had a lot of perfume and 
this brand, the the palette made my head hurt. I could not wear it. Every time I tried to wear it, like the palette was so like very good. It had beautiful colors in it. It was just a beautiful palette. If y'all go back to my Sheila Shemay channel, y'all will see me talk about this palette or the, that palette at the time. It was a very nice palette, just like this palette right here is very nice. Um, but I could not, I couldn't put on those shades. I was just like, my head was hurting and I, it was just really, really bad. I was like, I, I just can't use it. I end up throwing those palettes away, y'all. I kept them for a long time and I finally realized, Sheila, you're not going to be able to wear that palette or wear the colors in the, in the palette because it's just, it makes your head hurt. It's not going to do you no good. So yeah, that's one thing I would love to do, y'all. I think it would really intensify this look and make it a little bit more like bold. I don't know what it is. I want this look to look so bold for some reason. I actually want to line up, line it, like put a line there. I don't think I have a pink like liner that I can actually used to do that so i didn't want a black liner because i feel like it's a little bit too bold um i'm trying to think if, if i have a lip pencil that i could use just to line it and give it that little extra look right up here like you know what i'm saying just a little bit to give it a little bit more like give more to the eye makeup look um i want to do that and all I seem to have is black liner. So maybe this is okay. Maybe it'll look all right. If it looks a little bit too bold, then y'all, hey, I've already done this before and it turned out good. I got a lot of response from people like, oh my God, I love your eye makeup look. I did this like, I think it was last winter, last year winter. When I had on the brown PU leather pants and the red and white top, y'all loved that makeup look. And I mean, it was very dramatic, but I got a lot of, lot of good response. Um, so I'm going to try to do something kind of same type of thing, but I don't know. We'll see what it's going to look like, y'all. Okay. It may not be even. I'm doing it on camera. I'm going to try to just kind of create this look here. You see what I mean? And I'm gonna bring it on down a little bit and there we go now some people would go ahead and do a wing and I could I think I will but let me go ahead and do this eye as well I'm gonna pull this eye just a little bit so I can this loose skin won't interfere with the line and it just did and it could have been the way I was holding the, the pen it could just be the pen okay and I can easily straighten it out with the eyeshadow just bring it on around I think I shouldn't have pulled my actual skin there. That's what I'm thinking. Y'all see there? That kind of... I hate when that happens, but it happens, y'all. Let me add a little eyeshadow and see if I can go over it. Try to cover that up. Smooth it out and straighten it out there. It's not as straight as the other line, 
And that's what I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but it did. <sighs> okay. Last time I created this look, it was off camera. It was similar to this. Not the exact same, but it was similar. So it's not perfectly matching, but y'all get the idea. I'm not going to spend too much time. So now I'm going to actually make a wing here. Okay, I'm going to pull this out a little bit further. And then I'm going to go in with the wing there. Okay, and yes, I went out just a little bit too far. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. So I created a little high wing there. And then I end up touching this part of my eye here. And just seem like this is trying to really just be wack wacky here for some reason. I'm trying to mess up my look for some reason. Alright, so I'm going to pull this side up here. And then create the wing here. Okay. Alright. Then go up with this. Some of y'all probably gonna say, what the hell are you doing? Um, something different. Something very different is what I'm doing. Um, I love anything that's different. Like I said, I got this kind of idea from what was in the parking lot this morning. So I thought I wasn't like I'm not making a big deal out of it. But it just you know how some sometimes you don't have anything in mind and something can inspire you. So that's what I kind of how I kind of got this idea. This one it has more ink than this side, but Y'all get the look because I feel like this video is getting longer and longer and longer. So you get the idea. May not be as perfect as I would want it to be, but you know, you get the idea. It's similar to a look that I created like last year, and it was absolutely gorgeous. So now let me put some more highlight up here in the inner corner. Just add some highlight there because this look is very intense. Oh my gosh, it is more intense than I thought it would be. And then of course the highlighted shade I'm going to add just a little bit up in here. Just to give it some highlight there in the inner corner because I feel like it just needs that. There we go. I like that. Just a little highlight up here in the inner corner here. Because every you know how the more you put colors on and stuff like that, the colors can look a little, I don't know, they get a little, I don't know how to say it, but it can make the inner corner just look a little dull there sometimes. So, y'all, I don't have no fallout. That's a good thing as well about this eyeshadow palette. So, I'm going to pull down my hair and we're going to talk about this palette. Now, this liner on top is not perfect because my liner that I have, it just, the liner, the pen kind of went out. And then over here, I kind of smudged it there on the side. It's not as pretty as this line, but hey, it is what it is. But overall, I'm liking this look. So y'all, let me fix my hair so everything is complete. Remember, the face makeup is already on. So let me fix my hair. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So this is the look. So I saw my NYX Superstars color palette. And this has some amazing shimmers, y'all. I feel like I want to add just a little bit more. Like right here. I love this color combination. But I feel like I can amp it up just a little bit with this purple light tone. Um... Or either this, maybe the silver and the purple tone. We'll see. But this is a great palette that I got, like, I think last year or something. I don't think that purple is going to work. It's going to have to be this silver tone. I feel like that's really, really pretty. I don't know if this will just make, make it, like, what am I trying to say? I don't know if this is going to be really, really good. Or should I just stick to 
what I have. But I think it's going to look good. I like this purple tone. But I remember this purple tone is not the best pigment. But you know what? I'm going to add some on the bottom lash line. Give a little sparkle. Bring it on down. Bring the eyeshadow on down a little lower onto the eye. I normally never do this, but I do think this look is cute. And I think the more I add on, the cuter it looks, in my opinion. It just looks fabulous. And look at that. I'm already loving that little extra purple glitter underneath my liner here, my lash line. This is more like a party look. Once again, it's more festive. This, the covering is festive. It's a festive type of look. And I think the colors in the palette is awesome for, you know, using if you're going out or something like that, hanging out with friends, whatever. I think this is a gorgeous palette. And remember, don't never be afraid to try something different uh create a different look look at this i would never thought i would create a look like this back in the day i'm not perfect either but i'm loving this look okay i feel like this silver color would be pretty on the brow bone let's add some on y'all i love what i already have but i think a little bit of sh uh, like silver shimmer there on top of that, it's also just as beautiful. You can use all sorts of colors. That just depends on you. You do whatever you like. Whatever looks good. Don't worry about what other people say. You do what you want to do. And, you know, don't worry about everybody and everything. You do what you want. Um, so, there we go. Now I feel like I'm complete. I feel like that's enough with the eye makeup. This is complete. So y'all know I use the NYX Superstars um palette right here. Gimme. It's called it's actually called Gimme Superstars color palette by NYX Cosmetics. This is a great shimmer palette. There were two of them, but I only got one. When I got ready to get the other, the other one had more like a uh, regular like everyday type of beautiful pinks and uh maybe a neutral color but when i got ready to get the other one they were all sold out but i'm gonna try to find this palette because i really like this this is a great shimmer palette for every day like i you can actually put that that one shade on your lid wear it every day but let's get to this palette that we use today the miss rose palette highly recommended this is such a great palette look at my eye makeup you can glam up with this makeup palette you can go neutral with it you can create so many looks look at that yellow gold i want to use that next in this gold color i want to use that purple tone this is my this has to be my favorite color i love that for every day it's such a beautiful color that's the color i kept putting on my brow bone it's like this coral like coral type of i don't have a color like this in any of my palettes it's like a coral sort of like a tangerine coral color but it's it's very nice and natural looking it's not like a real bold color so that's my favorite color i use that color that color that color um this color that color and the black color that's what i use to create the look so nice and i use this color on my brow bone to start out with but that's the palette every color in here was very pigmented as y'all can see right now love this look love it because all of the rest of my makeup is very very neutral i didn't go in very bold with the uh, face makeup because i'm using natural makeup but once again this i decided to use this palette because first of all this cover 
gave me a symbolism of what I seen in the parking lot. And I probably done already posted it on this video. So I like the cup. I thought about the cup that was out there. And I was like, you know what? That's a perfect match. A perfect match. This palette would be good for the New Year's Eve, bringing in the New Year's, you know. Um, yeah, this, this palette, you can really, really like... You can really amp up your look for New Year's or a celebration type of look, or you can use this palette for everyday neutral palette, okay? So I will be using this palette every day for neutral colors. This color is so neutral. That color is neutral. See here, that's a neutral color for every day. That's a neutral color. Even this gold could be used as an everyday color. This color, that color, and... You know, I see so many colors that I can use on a regular basis as well as colors I can use to amp up a look. This is very, very good for a $5.99 palette. Yes. And then in the inside, I did not know it looked like this. Uh, didn't pay too much attention when I showed y'all this palette. But it does have like a, a Christmas type of New Year's um type of theme up here on the top it's so pretty i love that design on top and i do like this palette highly recommend it if you like like inexpensive palettes it is really really nice palette go out and get it i think you will like it a lot um once again it's just called the miss rose um eyeshadow palette it that's all. It does. It's, it doesn't have any other name. It does have a number. It's, uh, it says uh, M. It has a number on there, but it may not be on every site you go to. You may not see this same number. Okay, so just know when you see this uh, young woman here that's having a fun time with the mask on and she's drinking wine and she has this blue dress, then you know this is the palette. Okay, so as you see here. So I like the palette. Give it a thumbs up. A great palette for, once again, fixing up or for everyday wear. It doesn't matter. Very nice. As you can see, I went for a very, very bold look. And my liner is absolutely crooked. But it's okay. The liner is... This one over here is a complete mess. But, you know what? I should have fixed it. But, y'all, I would have to take that off. Put the eyeshadow back on and correct it. I mean, I'm just going to show my stuff here in a minute i might correct this then again no i'm not i'm just gonna leave it just like this there's nobody perfect but this is the makeup looks look at the purple underneath this is what i was talking about just having that extra halo color underneath the lash line bring it on down like i know some of y'all say oh i crease so bad but this is a pretty good palette this nyx uh give me superstars palette um I like it. You know, just bring it down a little bit. It has a little bit of glitter there, but nothing too crazy. I like how that extra color is down here below my uh, liner here. I like this right here. And then I like the fact that I added the pink. I just went for a complete, really, really, like, really, really bold look okay so it's not for everybody some of y'all not gonna like this look and some of y'all will like this look so i like the look love it this is what it looks like okay not for everybody okay come up close so y'all can take a look at it yes but you can see how well that palette is such a good palette and that's one reason why i got it because not only for the, the picture in the front of it, I thought it was cute, but I got it because of the colors. I just love all the colors in the palette because I knew I could use those colors for daytime appropriate, um, for daytime or nighttime or just to fix up, date night type of eyeshadows. However, you know, this is just something I decided to do extra to give it a little extra look there and some of y'all gonna like this look some of you not but anyways y'all i hope y'all enjoy this look i'm a ways away from the window so this is the way it looks if you saw me in person this is what you would get okay this is what you will see 
So, and remember this was inspired by the cup that was in the parking lot right here in front of my window. So, you can get inspired by stuff like that. You know, people do stuff like that. And sometimes it's, ins it's inspiration. It inspires you or make you think about something that you might not use. And maybe it's like, hey, maybe it's time for me to use that palette. So, anyways, you guys, I'm going to get ready to show my tamu.com haul um yes uh i'm trying to think do i want to show my tamu haul right now you know what i think i'm going to show y'all the tamu and then i'm going to show i might show my tamu on, on on my chili shimei channel too i might show the same items that i'm about to show y'all um on my chili shimei channel So are y'all ready for the Tamu.com haul? I'm not going to stop it here. So this is a um, I makeup look and a haul in one. So I, I keep looking at it. I'm just like, open it, open it, open it. So team Tamu, okay? But then again, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and, y'all, what is this? What am I going to do? Am I going to put this on the same video? Y'all, it may not go on the same video. It might be on another video. So, if you see that on another video, then you will know. Okay? But, to me, okay? Um, I, I never do a makeup look and then do a haul. I never do that. I always do a separate video. So, it seems kind of weird to do this. Um, <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I don't know what to do. What should I do? Y'all, you know what? I'm going to create another video. And if I don't, I just put the clips together. So, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go. I enjoy y'all for watching. I appreciate enjoy y'all watching. I enjoy creating this video and appreciate y'all watching this video. Thank you so much. I know it's still long, but y'all, I do a lot of talking. It's just me. Um, Really quick, outfit of the day. I can do that. It is really warm outside, so I put on these shorts, okay? So here we go, all right? So don't judge me because, as you can see, um... Yeah, I got on shorts today, and these are my very, very fa favorite shorts, okay? Um, the only thing is, what I realize, if you wear these shorts, they do kind of slide up in the center. Uh, not too bad, just only when you sit down, and then once you get them out of there, and then they're good. But I decided to wear this red top that goes with the red skirt. I didn't want to wear the red skirt. I just wanted to wear the top. Um, I do have... And this is from Shein, okay? This is a one-shoulder shirt, by the way, which y'all have probably already seen already. And also, excuse the shoes. Um, I didn't even put on my sneakers that I would wear. My red ones is what I would wear with this. Um, so I got on the one-shoulder top that goes with a skirt from Shein. It has brooching on the... Um, arm there and then it is a cropped top and then the shorts is also from Shein um, it has ruffles on the side I thought this was really unique I know it's sort of old school for some of y'all but I just really think this is really cute the ruffles on the side uh, right here where my hips and thighs is I just think it's cute so I put on these shorts and of course, you can put on boots. I think a pair of boots, I should have put on my boots. I think it would look really cute because, you know, it's not cold outside. I got my window up. It's a beautiful day, but I think the black boots would have been really, really cute with this. But anyways, these shorts have ruffles on them, and I've shown them on my Shin Shimei channel. This is what they look like in the back with the ruffles that kind of extend out there, as you can see here. This is what it looks like from the back. Really like them. They're really cute, comfortable. I'm just relaxable. So I'm about to open up my packages. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to put on no pants. I don't want to, you know, I probably put on some pajamas or some uh, lingerie here in a little bit. 
But this is what I decided to put on because I knew I would probably do an outfit of the day. Really like it, but this top does pull up with certain bras. You might have to tuck it underneath your bra a little bit to keep it, you know, keep it from the top from, what is it, sliding up and stuff and shifting a little bit just because this material kind of shifts for some reason. It's very... I don't know. It just shifts. But anyways, this is what I have on for today. Really like it. Very cute. Showing you from all angles. This is the look. Really like it. So, yeah. She in, she in. All of this is she in. Okay? The top and the shorts. All right, y'all. So, that is the look for the day. The outfit of the day, and y'all got to see the eye makeup of the day as well. So now I'm fixing to go ahead and open up my packages. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, y'all. I love y'all bunch. Much love, care, kindness, peace, joy, and happiness to everyone. I will see y'all in my next video for another makeup look. Stay tuned for more because I got more eyeshadow palettes. I got more stuff to show you. More reviews. Um, my opinions. First impression videos. So stay tuned for that as well. And I will see y'all in my next one. Much love to everyone. Peace, happiness, joy, and everything. And I will see y'all in my next one. Many kisses. Bye-bye. <laughs> Might be a clip next, so might be just continue because i'm fixing to open up my packages now but if you don't see that then you'll see a tamu.com haul very shortly because i have a few more that's coming okay so stay tuned all right much love y'all and kisses bye bye all right y'all hey what's up what's going on i have a tamu haul here and I might add on the she in. I don't know, y'all. This this may be pieces connected with pieces. I don't know which one I'm gonna put on what channel. You know, my Sheila Shemay channel or my Shella Beauty Essence channel. But whichever one I decide to do, then uh, y'all watching it right now. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now I'm gonna show my Tamu in this clip, and then my next clip I'm gonna show my Shein. So let's go on and get into the Tamu.com. Let's start out with let's start out with this one. Um, Tamu, as you can tell, I know, y'all. Eventually, I'm gonna do a complete Tamu haul. And just check out so many different pieces. Um, and y'all going to see like bigger bags or if they come in boxes. I don't know. But y'all going to see more of this. I'm just trying out to move. So far, to move.com is a very good site. Once again, I'm going to say it again and I'll, I'll stop. It's similar to Shein. I mean, to me, it is. It's very similar to Shein. I like the products. I like the stuff so far. I love their accessories. That's the number one thing I love. But I am going to eventually get some things that are, you know, like clothes. I've gotten two pieces of clothes already. But um, I'm going to get some clothes to really, like, try to figure out, like, you know, you know, do I want to buy more? Because I noticed that I was on Tamu.com the other day. Well, not the other day, but a few weeks ago. And I realized that the plus size do have bigger sizes than 3XL. They go up to 5XL, okay? So now I know I can wear some of those clothes on Tamu.com. Um, maybe that dress, maybe I didn't pull it further. Because you got to pull the sizes. Like, you know how you swatch the not swatch it but swipe the size over like you might see one XL, two XL, three XL, but you have to shift shift that side over to the left and then you will see the four XL show and the five XL if they have that size 
with that particular item. So they do have sizes that goes up to a 5XL. So I know I can find some clothes on Tamu. And I'm excited to uh, get me a few pieces, try them out. So I'm doing the same thing I did with Shein. Try out the pieces first so that I will know if I really, really, truly do indeed and do like the clothing from Tamu. I know I'm going to like it because I've seen a lot of pieces already that I have in my car that I absolutely love. So I know that it's so similar to Shein. So, I mean, the same models that model on Shein models on Tamu.com. So I know I'm going to like it. But anyways, y'all, these are the few items that I got today. And once again, I just really love their accessories. I really didn't go all out with clothes, but I'm going to eventually. I'm going to buy some clothes from Tamu and really check them out. So I have a ring like this. I think I got it from Tamu.com. I could have got it from Shein, but I got another one, and this is in a size 10, okay? This one I have right here is a size 11. So I am going to put this one on this finger just because um, I want it to, to wear on one hand. Uh, I just like this. This is just like basic rings that I like to wear. And so I got another one there to wear. See, this one is the one I originally had. This is the one I got from Tamu. I like that look. I like it so much. And even sometimes I will put it on this finger where I'm like that. I just like that look. I feel like this is just... Um, very nice for every day. Sometimes I would just wear this ring by itself on one hand. Of course, this would look like I'm married, but you know, I just like that look. And so, yeah, y'all, I really like the way that looks together. So I got that ring there. I don't recall the price of it, so please do not ask me. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on my, it's on my app, but it was very inexpensive. Then I got this ring here. This one is sort of like, to me, in my opinion, it's more cultural type of ring. Um, I like rings like this. I love the color of that. It's like a purple. Now it's, it's like a mood ring because it looks blue, but now it's looking purple. So it's actually like a mood ring and it's really thick. This is a size 11. So I could actually put that right there. So if I wanted to, so y'all, that's that ring. That is so pretty. That would look good with so many fashion pieces and all that. Very, very nice. Only thing about it, I would probably wear this without wearing other rings on just because it's really thick and I feel like my other rings is scratching it. Um, I would probably wear it on another finger, like maybe this finger because I don't have a ring there to be scratching it and all that so it's just so pretty y'all look at that ring love it i love uh custom jewelry some people may not like it i love it it's just a nice way of having jewelry that doesn't cost um very expensive that way if you like mess it up or whatnot you didn't pay that much so I mean, the only ring that I would wear on a regular basis would be my wedding rings. Uh, basically, I wouldn't wear a whole lot of my most expensive rings. I would get some of these custom jewelry rings, wear them on a regular, and then when they get kind of tarnished or whatnot, I would repurchase. That's just the way I feel. I wouldn't wear all of my most beautiful uh, gorgeous rings and stuff. So here is a necklace. It has a heart down here. It has a, uh, what is this? A pear shape, um, diamond there. And then it has a round one. And so that's what it looks like. It's kind of all twisted up y'all. Cause it's been in the, um, container, but it's like a gold tone. As you can see, it's gold tone and it has three layers and it has those little diamonds there. That's not real, but you know, um, it's a very nice um, necklace. So y'all see this on me. I might put it on very soon once I get through this video. Um, so the next jewelry piece that I got 
y'all these bags are amazing i do keep these bags and put like store my makeup pieces and stuff like that in these bags it's so good like i got lipsticks in one of these bags like this these you need to keep okay um because you can put makeup in them i've got my eyeshadow pencils in a bag i keep them because um when i do get to move i'll be able to put my makeup in those bags and it'd be so easy just to get one bag and put all of my makeup in those bags like this and i won't have my makeup all over the place because i learned from an experience that i don't want to talk about i feel like i'll keep up with it so i got a pair of these retro 90 glasses y'all remember this style um i love the case you do get a nice look at that nice uh sunglass uh, uh what is it sunglass eyeshadow eyeshadow sunglass case okay you got a nice glass case i'm gonna say it like that very very good and then these are like the retro style 90 style type of glasses i remember wearing these y'all i had a pair just like this back in the 90s <laughs> I got mine, I believe, from Walmart, you know, and this was the style. Really, everybody was wearing these type of frame glasses. Um, I really want to try them on. So what I do every time I get uh, stuff offline, I always kind of like sanitize everything. I am still into that. Some people don't do that, but I still do that. So I'm going to spray these glasses with a little bit of what I like to um, sanitize them with, and then I'm going to put them off, okay? Um, these are so nice, I think. Um, they just reminded me, and when I saw them, I was like, yes, 90 style retro glasses. That's what they call them. And I saw them and I thought, $3 and some change? I think they were $3 and, I don't know, $3 and some change, I believe. Um, might have been $2 and some change because I got them on the sale or during the sale time. And so I got them for hardly nothing. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to put these on. So I'm going to get them and put these, wear these, okay? So here we go. See here, those look so cute. I remember wearing these glasses, this style of glasses, uh, sunglasses. Oh my God, I love them, okay? Um, they're not too big because y'all know how I love the oversized, um, you know, sunglasses. Well, I'm starting to get into the smaller or I should say the medium size frame glasses so you can see my eyeshadows and stuff like that my makeup a little bit more so y'all this is the glasses i really like them i like the size of them i love the frames i feel like it goes good with my facial structure so yeah i'm loving these okay so yeah these are the 90s retro glasses really like these because i can remember wearing these glasses in the 90s <laughs> All right, okay, so let's go on to the next product. The next product is, I'm going to keep that bag because I really like it. Um, I have bought um, some mascara, and you can find this mascara on many sites. But the one that I got is the volume kind. It's called Sky High, and it's by the brand P-U-D-A-I-E-R. Um, I saw this on a commercial where these ladies, and y'all probably have seen this video on Michelle Beauty S's channel. If this is on that channel, then you know you can see this in action or see that video and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of women that have small lashes like I do um, or sparse lashes, they put this on and you just absolutely keep putting it on and your lashes get longer and longer and they look like false lashes well i have showed um this one here that i got that's it's two kind basically one is for volume and then one is also called the curling mascara um so the curling mascara is the one that actually give you that false lash look so i got it 
from Tamu. This is the curling, uh, the curling mascara, and this is supposed to give me that look of false lashes. I'm hoping that it works, but I did show demonstrations from the site, okay? And I did list the site in the description box if you want to buy the actual mascara from the site, but you can get this off of a to move and other websites as well so this one is the curling uh mascara and then there's one that's called the volume mascara and that's the one i've been using it's the volume one and i did a demo on that one but this one is actually the curling um mascara and then i'm gonna have to label this and put or put a something on here to let me know this is the one that actually does the length, you know, and then the other one actually give me volume. So happy to have this one because this is what I originally wanted from the beginning, okay? All right, so I got another bag here, and it's just two little small accessories. Wait a minute. No. I got some glasses in here. Oh, I know what I got. These are the blue light glasses. Yes, I have been loving the blue light glasses. Y'all already got like three pair. I like to have different colors or different frames depending on what I have on, what I'm lounging in. Uh, Y'all, you know, if you can get these things for a little money, then, you know, I'm getting them for like a dollar and 80 something cents. And these glasses does work. They do work. So I'm going to start out with this ring, though. Um, this is actually a man's ring, but I thought it was really, really cute. It's in a size 11. I'm glad I got a size 11 because I didn't know. I thought maybe I should have got a size 9 or a 10 or a 9.5 with the men's sizes. But honestly, they look like they're the same, about the same size as the um size 11 in the women's size so this one is just a nice emerald green ring and i'm getting into the emerald colors or the color green because i did not know the the meaning behind the color green it's just a wonderful um meaning behind the color green it has a lot of good nice um type of Y'all know what I'm saying. It's a, it, the meaning behind the color green is just really good. I looked it up and I was like, I don't like the color green. And I'm trying to get into that color. But y'all wouldn't believe like the what's, what's behind the color green. Every color has like a description, right? Um, sort of. Yeah, it does. Every color has like a description. And this description of the color green is very very nice but this is the way the, the ring look it is for a man but you know what i don't care you, you can wear this even if you are a woman um i like the big bulky like rings anyway i feel like these rings are really nice to wear like um i could put these two rings here together here I take that ring, put it over there with that one. So I have it doubled up there, um, the sheet in and the to move, and then put this on my finger. So that's what it looks like. I like that. If I had a, have on something and I want to pop a color, these rings, like this ring here that I have, and this one here would be nice if I need a pop of color. If I'm wearing just some basics or whatever, this is so cute. I just love the way that looks. I love the design. And yes, it is a man's ring. On she not she in but on tamu.com i buy a lot of stuff that is men things like those um sneakers that i buy they are men's shoes and i absolutely love them because they're super duper comfortable because they label them as they label those sneakers as running shoes and so they make them very comfortable so i just love a lot of the men things on uh tamu.com i really never got into the men's stuff on shein but on tamu i mean i'm gonna buy more shoes from tamu um pertaining to their shoes and i'm gonna look further into what else they have because i absolutely love their accessories i love 
the shoes and all that. Those shoes are so comfortable sometimes that I absolutely have to remind myself that I have on a pair of sneakers that is super duper comfortable. Uh, yeah, I could walk because I walk kind of fast, like not real fast, but that's just something I got used to when I was working on certain jobs and stuff like that. I had to be very fast. It was like production work. So I got used to walking really, really quick and fast. And so sometimes when I walk in these shoes and I'm walking real fast, they are so, so soft that sometimes I have to catch myself and realize, wait a minute, girl, you need to slow down a little bit because these shoes, I, I sometimes feel like I don't even have shoes on. But I do. That's how comfortable the shoes are. So I just want to say that in case some of you really want to know, like, why I buy so many Tamu.com shoes. They are very, very comfortable. And I love the bright, vivid colors. But anyways, I got another pair of these blue light glasses. And look, I keep these for makeup pur purposes. I can put my lipsticks, my lip liners, mascaras in these, just all kind of ways you can store your makeup. So I got this nice um, blue light or, you know, sunglass holder here or case, and it does zip. This one zips. I like that. Nothing's wrong with that. Zipper's kind of hard like, though, honestly. What the heck? Kind of hard to open up. Is it stuck on the... I think it's stuck, y'all. Hmm. Let me see. There we go. We got it. And so I got this color here. I thought this was pretty. I don't have a color like this. And I'm going to put these on tonight. Once again, keep these bags. You can put so many things in here. You can put some eyeshadows. If you have one um, eyeshadows, like, you know, in the little small package or whatnot you can put your eyeshadows in there or a few of those or um, you know just whatever you know mascaras whatever but anyways here are the blue lights glasses y'all these do work um when i was talking about you know how my eyes was feeling like they were hurting so bad and they was just so irritable some of that was coming from that blue um lighting um type of ordeal when you're on the internet using your uh ipad your um phone whatnot so i got this this pair of blue light glasses and you can see it protects your eyes and i do notice the difference i like these because i love that tan color these will match no matter what i have on i put these on they're gonna match because they're just like a neutral color and it does come out like a cat frame um type of design uh it's just you know very nice. They're not too cat eye frame, but you know, they have a, a little bit of style design. And I thought these were really, really cute. And then on the side, you have this like gold little detail there on the side. I like that. So got these, y'all. I buy their blue light glasses a lot. I've got now four uh, blue light glass frames and I'm going to get another one. I believe in, in another order, I am supposed to have another one that's coming. If I'm not mistaken, I think I got one more coming or have I already got it? I think I already got it y'all. So I got four pairs, but I am going to buy two more pairs. I think I'm going to buy three more pairs and that that's going to be it. That's enough to switch up and have a different kind of frame or whatnot, whatever I'm in the mood for. Because in the evening time, I do like to watch the news. I like to look at some shows uh, or if I'm not editing or whatnot, or if I'm editing, I like to put these on. So I do notice a difference with my vision. I do see a difference with how I was describing to y'all. If not over here, then on my Shella Beauty Essence channel, I don't know which one I'm going to upload this video to, but I do notice that my eyes does not strain as much as they used to. And it feels amazing to be able to watch, say, a few shows on the internet. And it might be an hour per show. And I might watch three shows or so. 
and my eyes do not be strained. And y'all, it's I'm wearing these blue light glasses. So if you don't believe in that, I'm telling you, it really does work. Because I didn't believe in it at first. I was like, blue light glasses, like for real? Yes, for real. It's real. They do work. So coming from me to y'all, they work and they are well worth it. You can get them for a dollar and eighty something cents on Tamu.com. And I'm pretty sure you can find some on Shein. On all these sites, just about it. You can probably find some blue light glasses everywhere. And even at some of your local stores around your area probably has some blue light glasses. So don't think that they're not worth it. I would say try it. Like I did, I decided sometimes to say, girl, you need to try that because your eyes are always straining. And sure enough, when I tried it, it was a major improvement with my vision. I didn't seem to strain anymore because I do have to wear glasses. I do have a prescription, but those glasses help when I don't put on my prescription glasses and I just want to see something because my vision is not too bad. But it's not as good as it was, you know, before my eye injury. But, however, when I don't wear my prescription glasses, these blue light glasses do work, okay? They are amazing. So, y'all, that is the Tamu.com haul. Now, I'm about to do my Shein.com haul, which is very small. All these hauls are small. I just shopped on different places getting a couple items here and there so if you notice like wow she only got two or three items that's because i kind of wanted a little piece or a little bit of i say a little piece of something on almost um the sites that i that kept coming up on my feed and i was like let me check it out that's 90 percent off plus an extra coupon code so i was like let me just get two or three things and then that way i can see how every site is and get a few things and then i know which one i would like to shop from on a every monthly type of base uh basic because i don't just like to shop and get stuff and don't know how the website is because the worst thing you can do is order stuff and it comes back and it's just not right. It's so bad because you look at, oh gosh, I got to send it back. That's going to take about 30 days or at least two weeks before I get a refund, just depending on where you got to send it to and how long the, the return policy is. I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather try something and it don't cost that much. And if I don't like the site, I won't order. But if I like the site, then I can move forward and order something because I just, I've been ordering a little bitty things to see how the site is first before I get into buying something, say a hundred dollars worth of stuff or something, you know, before I get up there in a sense you know i want to know if i really like a site first before i do that so anyways you guys that is the end of my tamu.com haul so i hope y'all enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video much love care countess peace happiness to everyone and i will see y'all in my next video and many kisses to everyone y'all take care of yourself and i will see y'all my next one all right bye bye